Today, we will talk about the Hamada equation, how it works, what it tells us, and its limitations. The Hamada equation is a way to analyze a firm's cost of capital as it uses additional financial leverage, and how that relates to the overall risk of the firm. It summarizes the effects this type of leverage has on a firm's cost of capital, over and above the cost of capital as if the firm had no debt. The Hamada equation was developed by Robert Hamada, a former finance professor at the University of Chicago Booth School of Business. His equation measures the effect of financial leverage on a firm's cost of capital and takes into account the firm's unlevered beta, tax rate, and debt-to-equity ratio. It draws upon the Modigliani-Miller theorem on capital structure and extends an analysis to quantify the effect of financial leverage on a firm. The Hamada equation shows how the beta of a firm changes with leverage, with beta being a measure of volatility or systemic risk relative to the overall market. The higher the beta coefficient, the higher the risk associated with the firm. For example, a firm with a debt-to-equity ratio of 0.60, a tax rate of 33%, and an unlevered beta of 0.75 would have a Hamada coefficient of 1.05. This means that financial leverage for this firm increases the overall risk by a beta amount of 0.30, or 40%. The Hamada equation is part of the weighted average cost of capital, involving the process of unlevering the beta to relever it to find an ideal capital structure. The Hamada equation is used in finding optimal capital structures, but it doesn't include default risk. Modifications have been made to account for such risk, but they still lack a robust way to incorporate credit spreads and the risk of default. Here are three key takeaways. 1. The Hamada equation is a method of analyzing a firm's cost of capital as it uses additional financial leverage. 2. It draws upon the Modigliani-Miller theorem on capital structure. 3. The higher the Hamada equation beta coefficient, the higher the risk associated with the firm. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.